Right, thank you very much uh, uh, to our viewers, wherever you are. Uh, I want just on behalf of Patriotic Front to comment on the notice that was received today. Uh, first of all, it is uh, really a shame that we have uh, a government of UPND that is determined uh, to Im continue embarrassing itself. At this particular stage, as Zambian people don't expect that uh, government officials, the Registrar of Society, will be put under so much pressure as to issue such a reckless uh, statement threatening to register the main opposition political party in Zambia. That is basically an assault against democracy. Such attempts have been made in time past and have only gone to imbalance the government of the day. I'm sure the Zambian people do remember what Mr. Anderek in his zeal to try and patronize the government of the day, that time patriotic front, when he attempted to register the main opposition at the time, the MMD. It only went to imbalance the government of Patriotic Front. Now it looks like the mistakes are always repeated. The issue of office bearers and people submitting, the three office bearers requiring to submit uh, their fingerprints after they have submitted all other documents is just an administrative issue that all resources are needed to do is just to write a letter to remind that those things are fulfilled. But to go to the extent of threatening to register society is really a shame. But this only goes to speak to the fact that the UPND are so scared, Misaka in the is so paranoid against the patriotic front. Looking at the fact that the party has remained strong, regardless of the efforts so far made to victimize the leadership, to victimize members, harass, harass, and inconvenience people with un trumped up charges in court. Now they are going even to threaten what the Zambian people have never imagined would repeat itself in this country. It's a shame, it should never happen. And I want to ask Mr. Kafumba, the permanent secretary, we know you are a politician. We know you used to not only be patriotic front, later on NDC, but please, in that office, let your profession as a lawyer speak to you and help you to stick to principle. You are a civil servant. Stop pressing and due you know, pressure on the structure of society. Don't allow the indirect type of thinking and operation to overwhelm you in trying to impress Mr. Akainde Democracy in this country must be allowed to thrive and to grow. And it can only grow by guaranteeing the freedom of association and assembly of citizens by allowing them to associate with whoever they want to associate. With that said, we are going to comply with all the required statutory uh, demands of the law insofar as the social society, like we have done in time past. But we don't expect administrative issues to become fundamental to even threaten the registration. That's uncalled for. Thank you very much.